Hello, Brazil. Hello, world. My name is Milton Rosa for Americans or Milton Rosa for Brazilians. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about two American characters. The first one is probably well known among Brazilians. His name is Martin Luther King Jr. The second one is not as well known. His name is Gregory Robert Smith. The little information that I could find about him was from 2016. He is one of those highly gifted kids with a super brain. Well, he's not a kid anymore, but what he could do at the age of two, I probably wouldn't be able to do in my 49 years of existence. As we learn about each one of them, I will introduce you to two verb tenses that are the most used when talking about past events. They are the past simple and the present perfect tenses. By the end of this video, I'm pretty sure you'll be a lot less confused about when to use simple past and when to use present perfect when talking about things in the past. So, let's get started. Martin Luther King Jr. was an African-American minister and activist who fought for equal rights, both for blacks and whites. He was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. In 1955, he began his struggle to persuade the U.S. government to declare the policy of racial discrimination in the southern states unlawful. He dreamt that all people of the United States would be judged by their personal qualities and not by the color of their skin. He believed in this philosophy of non-violence demonstrations. On Wednesday, August 28, 1963, 250,000 demonstrators marched to the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., which became known as the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, the March on Washington, or the Great March on Washington. The purpose of the march was to advocate for the civil and economic rights of African Americans. At the march, Martin Luther King Jr., standing in front of the Lincoln Memorial, delivered his historic I Have a Dream speech, in which he called for an end to racism. A dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be, be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream. The following year, President Johnson got a law passed prohibiting all racial discrimination. His peaceful, non-violent resistance approach for fighting racial inequality won him a Nobel Peace Prize on October 14, 1964. But King had powerful opponents. When he opposed the United States' involvement in the Vietnam War, he lost the president's support. He was assassinated on April 4, 1968, at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee. Many believe to this day that his murderer did not act on his own, but was part of a conspiracy. Gregory Robert Smith is one of those whiz kids born with a super brain. He is so brilliant that tests, they say, cannot measure his IQ. He was born on June 9, 1989, in West Reading, Pennsylvania. At 14 months, he was memorizing and reciting books. At 18 months, he was adding numbers. He finished elementary school in 1996. It took him one year to advance from the second to the eighth grade. According to the University of Virginia website, Greg Smith began public high school when he was seven years old, and two years later, in 1999, he graduated with honors from Orange Park High School in Florida. He started college at the age of 10 at Randolph-Macon College in Nashland, Virginia, where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in mathematics and minors in history and biology in 2003. Before he turned 11, Greg was interviewed on 60 Minutes Late Show with Dave Letterman and The Oprah Winfrey Show. On June 9, 2003, on his 14th birthday, he began graduate work in mathematics. To this day, he has earned a Master of Science degree in mathematics from the University of Virginia, a Master of Science degree in computational biology, and a PhD degree in biological sciences from Carnegie Mellon University. 
Greg has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize five times for his charity work, campaigning for children's rights and safety. Over the years, Smith has met with former U.S. President Bill Clinton and former president of the now extinct Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev. Plus, Nobel Peace laureates, including Betty Williams, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and José Ramos Horta, to talk about his educational and peace plans and to learn from them about how they dealt with difficult situations so that he can follow their example. According to the website researchgate.net, Gregory Smith has been a researcher in the Department of Neurology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai since 2017. Previously, he had worked in the Department of Pharmacology and Systems Therapeutics. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2016, he talked about his research on how individual cells behave. He hopes to be able to develop better drugs to fight cancer during his lifetime. Such drugs would be effective targeted treatments for people's individual versions of cancers. Attaboy. So, now let's take a look at the sentences with simple past and present perfect verbs. As you may have noticed by now, this video is intended for intermediate and advanced levels. As a reminder though, the simple past is the equivalent to pretérito perfeito in Portuguese. The past simple indicates something that happened at a certain or specific time in the past. That means you have some time expression showing exactly when it happened. So, if you ask the question, when did it happen in English or quando aconteceu in Portuguese, the answer will indicate when it happened. First, we learned in this video that Martin Luther King Jr. was born in 1929 and died in 1968. So, whatever happened to him has no relation to the present tense anymore because everything that he did now is in the past. Notice that the introductory statement in the video, in the past, gives it away right off the bat. Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? Martin Luther King Jr. was an African-American minister and activist who fought for equal rights both for blacks and whites. His timeline is over. It finished in 1968, in the past. That's why everything we talked about Martin Luther King was with a simple past verb and a time expression showing exactly when it happened. When was Martin Luther King Jr. born? Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. When did Martin Luther King begin his struggle to persuade the U.S. government to declare the policy of racial discrimination in the southern states unlawful? He began his struggle to persuade the U.S. government to declare the policy of racial discrimination in the southern states unlawful in 1955. When did demonstrators march to the Lincoln Memorial? Demonstrators marched to the Lincoln Memorial on August 28, 1963. When did Martin Luther King Jr. win a Nobel Peace Prize? He won a Nobel Peace Prize on October 14, 1964. When was Martin Luther King Jr. assassinated? He was assassinated on April 4, 1968. Now let's check some statements about Gregory Robert Smith. The first thing you noticed about Gregory Robert Smith in the opening statement is that he's still with us. Notice that the sentences are in the present tense. Who is Gregory Robert Smith? Gregory Robert Smith is one of those whiz kids born with a super brain. He is so brilliant that tests, they say, cannot measure his IQ. That's why I use the simple past with the year when he accomplished certain things, and sometimes I use the present perfect when no time or years mentioned. Let's compare both tenses from Greg Smith's story. When was Gregory Robert Smith born? He was born on June 9, 1989, in West Reading, Pennsylvania. When did Gregory Robert Smith finish elementary school? He finished elementary school in 1996. When did Gregory Smith graduate from Orange Park High School? He graduated from Orange Park High School in 1999. When did Gregory Smith earn a Bachelor of Science degree? He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in 2003. Notice that we have only used the simple past until now because everything he talked about Greg until now mentioned exactly when those things happened in the past. In 1989, 
1996, in 1999, in 2003. From now on, let's talk about what he has done from 2003 to this day. For that, we use the present perfect. The present perfect is formed from the presence of the verb have and the past participle of a verb. We can use the present perfect when we are talking about our experience up to the present. From 2003 to this day, Gregory has earned a Master of Science degree in Mathematics. He has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize five times. Over the years, he has met with several important people. We can use the present perfect for something that started in the past and continues in the present. From 2017 to the present, Gregory Smith has been a researcher in the Department of Neurology at the Icahn School of Medicine at Mount Sinai since 2017. Well guys, this is all for now. I hope you have enjoyed these two stories, and if there's anything you'd like me to talk about, please leave it in your comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can find me on the social media shown you on screen or you can click on the link to each one of them in the video description below. Thanks for watching. May God bless you. Peace. And I'll catch you on my next video.